Trying to make sense of Matic seems to be in a descending, slightly sloped descending uh, trading channel and it's right at the top. So let's go ahead and dive into this bad boy. All right. This descending channel, I'm on the one hour chart. If you want to try to copy this, absolutely feel free to do it because this is what's getting price action right outside of one bull trap. This goes back to July 18th, right when Bitcoin was making its lows. What? This was going up as Bitcoin spiked down? That's weird. I didn't know that. There must have been big ass news. My goodness. Oh, that's July. No, Bitcoin made its lows back here. Never mind. I thought it said June. So this goes back to uh, mid July. And it's been in this trading channel ever since. So if it breaks out of here, get knowing we already see that my origin lines work pretty well for this, right? The next origin line here is probably going to stop it. So even if, you know, it breaks out and goes up, uh, you're going to have fairly immediate resistance somewhere around 10% above. So if it were to break out of here soon, you know, within this month, you're looking at around you know, 96, 97 cent target. Or, but that is not going to be initiated until this line is taken out. So it's not just one number because the, because the it's descending. So it, the number changes there, as you can see. So, I mean, heck, it could it could come down all the way to here first and then break out here. And then, you know, the longer it takes uh, to get there, this is going uh, up. So it would actually have a bigger run the longer it takes to get out. So, yeah, it's just this top trend line. And because you've already had one bull trap uh, that I showed you, that, that greatly increases the chance. If you zoom in on the five minute chart with that trend line before a lot of buyers are confident enough to really wing it up. What you're going to have to see is you're going to get you're going to have a punch high. So you're going to see that yellow line. You're going to or that green line. You're going to punch through it, come back down and check it, maybe swoop under, work your way back up, something like this, bounce on it, bounce on it. And the uh, buyers are not going to really be invited to buy heavily until that punch high is taken out. Like something like that. And at this exact moment, right here, when it takes that out, that is when it would probably really accelerate to the upside. Because, yeah, because there was already a bull trap above this. So people are going to be hesitant. They're going to wait for that. To, like big, bigger money will pro very, very, very likely wait for that to happen. And if you see this punch eye, just realize it is very easily likely for it to break back down in here until the punch eye is taken out. So be careful with this line. There's already one bull trap and that will specifically make buyers hesitant at the first pass. And it greatly increases the chance you have to take out the punch eye before it accelerates up. And until that punch eye is taken out, I still think it would be more likely to do a failure pattern above and then come back down, uh, then break below this line uh, as as it retests it. 